students welcome to the model number 5 and uh, the chapter other materials and uh, material selection in this topic we are going to discuss about uh, the different processing of plastics okay and uh, in that uh, the injection molding and blow molding will discuss in this video so uh, are you are seeing uh, this uh, injection molding uh, uh, that indicates this uh, diagram uh, for the induction molding. Uh, this uh, induction molding in operation is a pre-calculated quantity of plastic material in the form of uh, uh, powder or granules that are going to be along with the necessary additives is fed into the hopper. So this is what we call it as hopper. So in this uh, they are going to fed and once it is fed this uh, powdered material along with the additives so the hopper then uh, fed into the plastic material uh, the feeds the plastic material into the uh, heated injection unit so where this uh, heated injection unit are going to be provided the motor is turned into in the uh, screw rod and this forces to plastic material along with the heater section causing the plastic material to reach the molten state once it is uh, reached the molten state and the screw also acts as a reciprocating ram so which is rapidly moves uh, forward to the inject uh, uh, inject the molten plastic into the water cooled uh, closed mold so once it is uh, the, uh, here the nozzle will be provided uh, through this nozzle they injected this molten metal into this uh, um, what we call it as uh, mold okay so the red uh, indicates what that is the object where you uh, the at, at what uh, design you want that uh, product uh, it is going to be mold and uh, further a non return wall uh, mounted near to the tip of this uh, screw uh, prevents uh, screw that prevents the um, the melt uh, from the flowing backward along with the screw okay and uh, the screw and the screw threads so the ram pressure is maintained until the part is cooled and solidifies the mold have uh, opens and uh, this finish the product so by ejecting the uh, injector pin so once it is mold is going to be uh, um, going to be uh, finished uh, the product and it is going to be removed by this uh, ejector pin so then the uh, actual product is going to be uh, get and you can uh, uh, find the uh, finished product so this process how it is going to take place uh, we can watch in this uh, uh, some video uh, of this uh, injection molding let us uh, we have a look So this is what they actually uh, finished the uh, plastic part and this is injection molding tool. This is the injection molding machine with all the uh, self control units. Here uh, the powder and the plastics or granulas are fed into the Copper and these uh, heating elements are going to be made to uh, plastics. So these are the different uh, three zones of screw. First one is the fitting zone, and second is the transition zone, and uh, finally melting zone. So once it reaches the melting zone, it is turned uh, fitting the granules and melting the uh, plastic uh, to into the mold. Okay, so through the uh, nozzle. This uh, is a injective product in the cooler and then uh, simplify it by screws here. Yeah. This is how uh, this uh, injection is going to be completed uh, in this model. The ram is going to back and uh, this is the part of the ram.
now uh, we are on to the next uh, method uh, that is uh, blowing method okay so blow method of uh, molding so here uh, it is also one of the very important uh, kind of uh, method so this blow molding is used to for making uh, hollow plastic parts uh, especially with uh, very thin walls okay there are uh, three types of uh, blow molding uh, uh, there is one is uh, extrusion blow molding and uh, injection blow molding and another one is uh, injection stretch blow molding so let us we have a look at uh, this figure it is involved in extrusion blow molding process okay see uh, here in the operation uh, the pre calculated quantity of plastic material in the form of powder or granules uh, along with these necessary additives is going to be heated at semi molten state and it is extruded into the hollow tube or uh, parison form okay so when this uh, tube is uh, reaches this uh, correct length and uh, mold is going to be closed around the tube the ends of this uh, tube is going to be pinned and held uh, tightly by the mold uh, holes okay the air is under pressure is now uh, injected into this uh, tube and uh, causing it to uh, blown against the uh, water cooled mold walls so thereby the conforming to this uh, shape of the mold so here uh, you can see the part uh, is going to be cooled and hardened and this ejected uh, are, and it is ejected and also it is trimmed and finished as we desired uh, products so here uh, you can uh, see this figure from same as of uh, injection but uh, there are different uh, here the air is very important uh, under a certain pressure it is going to be act and uh, it separates uh, the desired process from the mold so we have a look at uh, from the uh, video so that uh, we can understand better way okay here we can see this air when it is uh, pass over this uh, uh, object it is uh, separated from this mold and uh, this is your finished product this is the first stage and then if it is finally you got like this so depends upon the how you are designing the mold that is very important so here we are making uh, for the bottle so we are getting bottle like this structures so let us we'll have a look at this process uh, by video that are packaged in plastic produced using blow molding technique. The plastic blow molding process is the most popular method used to produce hollow containers. Impact uses a variety of raw material during the blow molding process depending on the container application and its expected performance. The raw material in granular form is fed via a hopper into the feed barrel which is heated to help melt the granules and evenly disperse the colorant called master batch. A molten tube of plastic called a parison is extruded from the machine head and cut with a hot blade. It is then captured by a water cooled mold and a blowing nozzle is inserted into the parison. A blast of pressurized air is blown into the parison, forcing the hot plastic to take on the shape of the mold. This process is called blow molding. Once cooled and solidified inside the mold, the machine opens the mold and the brand new container is ejected. The container is transferred to a deflasher that removes the excess known as the tail. This excess is conveyed to the beginning of the process to be ground and reused. This is known as a closed loop system. Once the jars leave the machine, they are then conveyed to a trimmer which removes the remaining excess called the lost head, which in turn is collected and added to the closed loop system. With the tail and lost head removed, the plastic jar or container is now in its final form. Bottles are subjected to a leak test whereby controlled airflow is released into the bottle. Should the bottle contain any leak related defects, the pressurized air will escape and the bottle will be rejected. This bottle will then be introduced back into the closed loop system. The containers are now ready to be packaged and sent on to the manufacturers of the products who will fill the new container.